appreciated. Yes, hockey is Canada's national sport. It all started here at famous McGill University in 1875, and it's been a major activity here ever since. McGill rates high in international collegiate hockey. In the old days, they had nine players to a side instead of the six in the modern game. And in the old days, the puck, it's an easy game to understand and packs more sustained excitement than any other sport. It's to Canada what baseball is to the United States. All the kids play it. Give them snow-covered streets, stick, and the five and six-year-olds start. No skates, no puck, but something to hit and chase and bang between the two big lumps of snow that mark the goal. Fun, yes, and in another year, they'll play on skates. On ice, it's different. The boy knows well the advantage of padding his shin with a school book. The game is a favorite with all the youngsters in every part of the city. Many of the sport's greatest players come from the thickly populated industrial areas. Schools and churches sponsor the game and even provide referees to keep the peace because the game is loaded with bumps and spills and a swinging stick can miss the puck and crown ahead, of course, only accidentally. Montreal is patchworked with 144 free rinks operated by the city recreational department, which arranges all schedules and provides heated dressing rooms and professional referees. Yes, this great French-Canadian metropolis is the hockey center of the world. Even the mayor is hockey-minded. With 25,000 youthful registered and thousands of individual teams on an active schedule, it's big sport. Every contestant is required to sign the book before each game. And all hockey is played in age classes. These peewees start under 12, and every two years thereafter automatically move up to a higher class. Get an eyeful of the stick work of these youngsters. Are they good and are they fast? These gallery gals already have their heroes. And the Pee Wee score, but here's another goalkeeper. Hockey is such a fast, rough body contact sport that it isn't generally recommended for girls. However, a few tomboys are always ready and able to exhibit a good game. These lassies are students at Royal Victoria College, the ladies' half of McGill University. Most of these girls learn their skating as youngsters playing on the boys' teams. Watch this girl elude all opposition. Yet the goalie saves a score. Hockey has an appeal for everybody. Each of these lads warming up on the ice is a member of the Canadian Legion and saw foreign war service for Canada. Their army recreational training included hockey and the boys still like it. They're very fast and in a few seasons more, they'll be into top senior class competition. Howie Morenz, son of the greatest professional in the game's history, today is amateur hockey's fastest player and top scoring ace of the junior Canadiens. This outfit of 18 to 20 year old lads is sponsored by the professional Montreal National Hockey League team of the same name and are they iced lightning? Wow, and now meet the champs. Presenting the National Hockey League champions, the Montreal Canadiens. Sure, they're big men, but they'll be even bigger when they get dressed up in their battle armor. This squad of 16 men are as fine an aggregation of hockey players as were ever assembled on one team. And they've won more league championships and Stanley Cups than any other team. It's more than a speedy body contact game. It's a bruising, smashing sport and calls for much padded protection. On the right are the special skates of the goalie with a minimum of open work so that no puck can scoot through. The goalie's protection is special too, for he gets more abuse than a tackling dummy of the Chicago Bears or a sparring partner of Joe Lewis. He's a human target for that deadly fast traveling puck. 
The regular player wears heavy gloves for hand protection, but the goalie wears huge padded affairs that look like catcher's mitts with lobster claws. He needs them to stop the puck in the air or on the ice and to protect his hands from the opponent's skates. The hockey sticks are made of ash, and the heavy bladed one is the goalie's. Coach Dick Irvin, big time hockey's most successful leader, talks with Captain Blake. This squad of ice cutters is the coach's dream, perfect in every department. Maurice Richard is a top scoring ace. This powerful 175 pound French Canadian is deservedly the highest paid player in hockey. He has a whip like getaway, full speed in three strides, and he doesn't telegraph his goal shots. You can't block this 25 year old rocket and yet he's not a rough player. This is the way defensive men break up an onrushing attack. It's rough, yes, but legal and effective. A good man can sometimes get around them. A great goalie like Bill Dernan uses the stick, his hands, his body or legs, all of which are well padded. And it takes a stout heart and courage to dive head first into a whirlwind of spades and wooden sticks to cover that puck. Now relax, if you can, and see big time hockey at its best. The champion Canadian on their greatest rivals, the popular Toronto Maple Leafs. The Toronto players are wearing the dark jerseys. It's a regular league game being played before 13,000 frenzied fans on the Canadiens' home rink in the Montreal Forum. There goes Richard, he tries for a goal and gets blocked with a terrific spill, but he's right up and at him again. A fast leaf player puts on some clever stick work. Ah, but his teammate is checked in time. When there's intentional roughness, the offender is sent off the ice to the penalty box for a stay of a minute or two, while his outnumbered teammates continue. In extremely rough games, a side may consist of as few as three men. The rest are all temporarily off the rink in the clink. Rivals, and so evenly mad tempers are hot. Every body check and raised stick draws fire. Even the referees can't begin to pin the penalties where they belong. These scraps are frequent and fast, but quickly burn out. This is hockey. It may look like a battle royal, but remember at championships at stake, 13,000 wild-eyed fans are getting what they paid for. But the bruising game goes on with much high stick work and numerous spills. The hard skating Toronto Leafs block every goal attempt, but the Montreal boys continue to keep the offensive and wait for an opening. Watch this goal as Montreal wins. The crowd goes wild and teammates in the player's box pound their hockey sticks in applause. Hockey's leading cup defenders, international winners, what a team. The fastest thing on ice.